How obsessed are you with mountain biking? We're gonna find out and tell you today. Is this the scariest crash we've ever seen? Oh my God, that was terrifying. Uh, Rich has got a tip of the week for you that is gonna keep you prepared for anything. All the usual action, plus it's an awesome send. Plus, has your bike made it into the bike vault? Let's find out on the Dirt Shed Show. How obsessed are you? Very. With what? Well, mountain biking, of course, Neil. Um, right, we're taking it that I am, but we're gonna find out if you are today. Uh, and this all comes from, I was inspired by uh, this cool video that we've just put out. And it, it, it's called, you know you're a mountain biker when? Yeah, and as I was watching it, I was yeah. thinking, man, I am fully obsessed with this sport. I think about it and do a lot about it and I'm into it big time. I like hearing all about it. I don't think we're in the brain. minority. I know we work in it and we've been it, like professional people yeah. for a long time, but yeah. I think all my friends who are into mountain biking do think about it a lot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've got a friend called Ryan St. Lawrence. Take a look at this. This last summer just gone, 2019, he spent months on the road going around the US. Okay, he's a wheelchair user like myself, but he's got an adapted bowhead mountain bike, freewheeler that takes out on the trails. He went to all these different places, but look at this ride he did um, um, at the, uh, what's this place called? Ret Retalac Lodge. Retalac, yes. Retalac Lodge. And this is terrifying. Look how close his wheel is to the edge. Like he could roll down that hill and, well, God knows <laughs> what would happen if he went down there. We saw Ryan live in the van life in Whistler, yes, didn't yeah. we? I mean, he is obsessed. He spent months on the road. I mean, he had the trip of a lifetime. I uh, did some incredible things. And if yeah. you want to see how well he did and how much fun he had, take a look at his Instagram, actually, uh, because he's got all of that story on there. It was fantastic. But that video made me think, yep, that's an obsessed mountain bike ride. I follow a few people that live the van life and ride their mountain bikes. Uh, Lauren Gregg's one, uh, RJC's another. Brilliant, sort of. I love their Instagram pages for seeing what they're up to. It looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what I uh, sort of would love to do. Somewhere. Yeah, I mean, we can be obsessed with mountain biking in lots of different ways. Obviously, there's the riding, but what about people who build trails? I was watching this video by Jeff Kendallweed the other day on his local Loam series. Very cool, check it out. Um, and Jeff went and looked at these guys. Now, where was, this was in um, Pittsburgh. Oh. in the US, all about this doctor who got these trails built, just being inspired by Whistler, and then went and worked with the local authority to get trails in Pittsburgh built. Um, he's even got a trail called the Dr. J, with these, wait, look at that. That's cool. Amazing, amazing. I've, I've never right heard of riding in Pittsburgh, actually. Yeah, and apparently he's got this amazing uh, trail centre built now with hundreds of miles of trails, and it's all built by obsessed people. You've got to be obsessed to build a trail. Ooh, talking, I mean, we should drop the news uh, here that we're going to Bentonville in springtime. <laughs> I can't wait to go and see the trails they built there. I can't imagine why we're obsessed. We get to go to all the wow. best places. They've built yeah. a huge amount of trails there that I've heard a lot about in the past, so can't wait to see them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, trail builders are the most obsessed because they really want to get lots of people out riding. So uh, these guys are obsessed that we've been looking at. I've decided I'm obsessed, but let's find out how obsessed is Neil Donahue with mountain yeah, biking. Yeah, let's so I've got, see. I've got a bit of a questionnaire I prepared for you, Neil. On a scale of naught to loser, how yes. obsessed? <laughs> On a scale of naught to loser, how obsessed are you? Um, right, okay, Neil, question number one. How long do you ride each day? Each, every, each day, every day? Well, I ride to work, that doesn't really nah, count. That count, that's not being obsessed. But when I ride, I try and ride a couple of times a week, uh, more in summertime, ride for a couple of hours each time. So average out is quite a lot, I suppose. Yeah. Not as much as I used to. Two hours, three hours? Probably. Whoa, that's quite a lot. That's yeah. quite a lot of riding. All right, how much in percent of your screen time Ooh. do you reckon is MTB based? 95. Wow. Probably a lot. The other five is dreaming of cars and looking on Auto Trader and eBay. 95%. Probably quite a lot. That's quite the confession there, Neil. Mm. How often do you think about mountain oh. biking? Well, I mean, uh, we work in mountain biking, so. Still counts. From sun up till sundown, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly. Um, do you think about mountain biking in the night time? No. Do, what? Good what? I was going to say. Do that. you mean dreaming? Dreaming or do you wake up in the night and think about riding your bike? Don't yeah. actually, no, I don't. Oh, mm. oh, Jack's nodding to that one behind the camera. <laughs> How much do you spend in pounds or dollars on MTB each month? Well, I'm lucky that I don't have to spend much. Probably yeah, in fuel, getting to places to go and ride my bike. 
probably, yeah. probably a bit, a bit. Yeah. Come on, guess the number. Oh. Come on, these guys have got a kind of I'm gauge. Like 300 quid, probably. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Jeez. Maybe not. First much? Uh. Right. And lastly, do you think about, do you look at bike porn? What? Bike porn, what is, go on, specify. Bike porn is like when you look at pictures of bicycles and go, whoa, that's <laughs> well nice. Look at that. It's a bit like looking at the bike vault. Probably. That's bike porn. Probably. You do. Does it have to be on the private browser or in No, Corneo? no, it doesn't have to be on the private browser. <laughs> um, well, oh. I mean, I can tell from that questionnaire, because if you answer yes to question four or six, <laughs> thinking about mountain biking in the night or look at bike porn, you're obsessed. So the I, other yeah. questions basically stipulate how obsessed you are with some kind of percentage. So I'm pretty high up the loser scale. I think you're pretty obsessed with mountain biking. And what I want you guys to do is ask yourself those questions, especially number four and number six, uh, and then head into that poll. It's a confessional poll above Neil's head. You can confess how obsessed with mountain biking you are. This is exciting news. We've been working behind the scenes to develop Global Bike Festival. We are having a festival. We're gonna be hosting a festival in Salbach in the Austrian mountains in June from the 18th to the 21st of June. Now, I'm super excited for this. And all the information that you need to know about this festival is all on www.globalbikefestival.com. Head over to there. Drop in your email address, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook as well at Global Bike Festival for all the information and some up-to-date news of what's going on with this. We'd love to see you there and I am actually looking forward to riding with some of you guys. Moving on to some team news. Yes, there is some people still bouncing around out there between two different teams. You know, making it different for 2020. Now the UCI have just published the team rosters for 2020 in the Downhill World Cup. Now Jack Moy, obviously we know, he's an intense factory racing guy, but within the team roster for 2020, it says the Canyon Collective. So that means he might be riding, or well, is riding for the Canyon team, but there's no announcement. We just got, you know, Sherlock Holmes on this and we found out he could be racing for Canyon. Sticking with the downhill theme, we've got some new teams being made up for 2020. Yes, now Nina Hoffman has started a new team called Nina Hoffman Racing. Now she's joined by another rider called Eric... Eric Fickleshare. Eric Fickleshare. Now those two have got some new sponsors to help them throughout their racing season of 2020. Now good luck to them because they've got a very busy year ahead of them. That's the end of the news. Let's carry on with the show. Great news, that was awesome. Right, time for a quiz question, Neil. Let's test you some more. We're testing you a lot today. Oh, it's getting tough. Sorry about that. Um, right, here's the question this week. Um, talking about obsessed mountain bikers, yeah. who has the longest riding career in mountain biking? Hans Ray. It's a good first answer, but is it right? Let's find out after Fails and Bells. Whoa. Now, g thankfully, that young lady who crashed into that tree right there, yeah. that scary crash, she was fine. She broke her arm. Fine. Um, that's yeah. Jiri's girlfriend there in the Czech Republic, and she's relatively fine with yeah. a broken arm. But yeah, but that is a scary crash. Yeah, breaking humorous, not funny, apparently. <laughs>
<laughs> Stop laughing. That wasn't that funny. Right, okay, before oh. Thousand Bowers, I asked you who's got the longest riding career in mountain biking, Neil? Hans uh, Ray. You quickly answered Hans Ray. Very confident um, answer. Tinker Forest? Maybe he's not really. Is he still Give, us, still give us an answer. Give us an answer. Who are you going with? Hans Ray. Hans Ray is wrong. Jack? Jack's got nobody because he only knows riders 20 years and younger. Um, I'm going to give the answer, Neil. He got it right. Uh, uh, one, give me one more second. Who else? Um, he's worried he's going to get it wrong. He's starting to doubt Brian himself. Lopes? It's not Brian. No, I don't know. Go on. No, that's it. I'm sticking. You should have gone with your second answer. It's Tinker Juarez. Really? Yes. Oh. He started riding professional BMX in 1974, but he moved into mountain biking in 1987. He has been a professional mountain biker ever since. But then he He's much still, he still riding do, professional mountain bike. He rides marathons. Why? Incredible. From 1987. For who? Uh, Cannondale threw out. The whole the time. Versions of, yes. This was just your way well, to Well, no, get... actually, he was originally on Yeti, but he did move this to Cannondale. This is just your way to get Cannondale into Dirt Shed. I just wanted to mention Cannondale. <laughs> yeah, they're just great. They were good to me. They were good to me, man. Uh, um, isn't that cool, though? What a yeah. career. That is obsessed with mountain biking. Yeah. Wow. Right, time for... Hacks and Budges! Oh. Hacks and Budges! Hacks and Budges! Hacks and... Oh, I'm enjoying you it today. You put more effort in when you do it by yourself. Yeah, I think I sing better on my own. Yeah. I get distracted by Blake's energy. It's not very you know? easy. And he's no he's noisy, isn't he? He's noisy. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on with it. Right, Hacks and Bodges. Um, the winner this week of Hacks and Bodges is gonna win a lovely GMBN race top. So good luck. Our first contender That's this week. By the wall. Yeah, by the wall or, or here, graphically. There we are. Um, is from Huntley. Now, this is a really great hack, Neil. Ooh. Wrapping a uh, inner tube around your uh, handlebars. Yeah. To make it For thicker. So you can just mount your watch on your handlebars. Genius, quite, is what I'm saying. Genius. Quite heavy. Why would you do that? Oh, come on, that's brilliant. Then you've got the watch display in front of you. You've got your Strava running, yeah. your watch, your timer, your calories. I mean, it is a hack, but you can buy these mounts for your watches, but then... Yeah, but this is a hack. It is a hack. He's, he's basically it. fudged it, and what's, he's used an old inner tube, probably had a puncture in it, and he's basically got a fantastic mount on it his bars. It looks like quite a new inner tube, it? It looks sick. Right. What do you think? Uh, well yeah. Huntley, like it. Uh, finally, we've got David from Massachusetts, who sent us a video of him shredding that ski bike that we showed oh, a couple yeah. of weeks ago, was it? Yeah. And he sends it off <laughs> a pretty sweet this. jump uh, straight to his face, unfortunately. Oh, man. That's specialised. That's a really cool specialised that he's using as well. And I actually, oh, yeah, when I saw FSR, it, yeah. when I saw the picture and I saw we didn't have any video, I was like, did that work? But that's pretty good. It works. And well, set for jumps, but it's Now, <laughs> well, I mean, what do you think? We've got a great bit of video. Um, oh, and we've got this one as well. Look at this, 3D printing. Oh, this, this has surely got a win. This is Peter oh in Waterford Island. After breaking my dropper lever from a crash, I uh, had another ride planned in two days, so I just 3D printed and painted a new lever. Yeah, oh, just 3D print Boom. one. And put a new proof logo on there. This is how incredible. strong it is. That's actually gone on to, it's that Shimano brake lever, so you've made the actual half clamp yeah. as well. That looks great. Now, you know what, right? How long before we're gonna be able to just print a Shimano product out in our living room. I don't know, they've been talking about this for a while. I mean, that, well, that's effectively what Pete has done. Yeah. He's he's 3D printed so you, a new component for his bike. You buy the download of the thing you want to print. Press print and there it is. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Maybe. Well, well easy to steal though, wouldn't it? Well easy to steal, like LimeWire, like the yeah. olden days, get your LimeWire out, fire it up and get a new well, XR group it's, set. It's next level. I mean, I think, that, I think who are we going to give this to? Because we've got that great snow bike, uh, uh, the brilliant inner tube hack from Huntley, and maybe Peter's 3D printing is pretty cool. 3D printing's got to win, surely. Yeah. The future. Come Peter, on. you're the winner this week. Well done. You're Woo! a hacks and boxes. Bodges. Some bodges, bodges champion. Some good um, ones, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. If you'd like to try and win a GMBN race top, then send us your hack or bodge um, into our GMBN uploader. Remember the Link is in the description down below, and that's how you enter all of our little games we play on the Dirt Shed Show. Absolutely. Still to come on the show, we've got a great tip from Rich where he's gonna keep us all prepared. Um, we've got the Bike Vault and Sens, and we've got a very pointed letter in our post. We did. You're not gonna like it, Neil, but first let's get into the caption contest. Uh, last week's photo, take a look at this. It's a Split Richard photo. 
It's very cool. I mean, I didn't get it, but it seems to be coming much more clear from yes. the comments. The comments are very good for this. Um, I'll start us off, Neil, if you don't mind. Sponge Blunt, he says, How'd you get a split, Richard? Catch a Prince Albert on your dropper. Oh. Prince Albert? <laughs> Talk about the monarchy. She, he was married to Queen Victoria. Fantastic. Don't yeah. get it. Don't, Don't get, get it. it. Uh, Dwarf Zombie says, Split Willie was too soft to ride. Split Johnson was taking too long. But Split Richard really did a number on my taint. <laughs> Don't understand any of this. <laughs> that was amazing. Taint your willy and it taint your bum. It's the bit in the middle. <laughs> Um, right, Bazaar MTB says, no pain, no glory. Uh, yeah, I like that one, I get it, it's um, nice. Corn Cornish Cactus GMBN initiation <laughs> rituals are brutal. <laughs> <laughs> That's my one, Cornish Cactus comes up with some good <laughs> captions. It's in there a lot of the times. So Here you going with Neil, you can pick the one. Well, That's the only one actually uh, I got was Cornish Cactus. So. Oh, really? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, Cornish Cactus, well done. You are a consistent competitor and you've got yourself a GMB and water bowl just like that one. I'm glad that didn't hit the camera because it's weighty. <laughs> if you would like to play, um, this is, uh, here's this week's photo. It's Blake looking a bit, oh, this is like a digi photo. Look, he's all kind of blurry. He looks a bit monstrous in that photo. Give us your caption for that one. Uh, and we will see who wins the bottle next week. Right, let's get going with the show. Right, we've got some amazing sounds this week. Let's check them out. Good stuff. Ooh. Some good ones in there. What's your favourite? Um, I like this one. This is from Moores Valley, and yeah. this is Jasmine, who is number one daughter apparently. I think. Uh, I think. I don't know who it is, but he ranks his daughters in uh, how well they can jump bikes by the looks of it. She's jumping well. <laughs> yeah. I can see why she's number one. I wonder yeah. if her number two daughter's closely following her. I bet she is. Probably ranked by age, but yeah, I'm not sure. probably yes. Um, my favourite was Ben's uh, little lad, Joshy. There, sending it off that drop. Ooh. Some nice angles like that, like those oh, that's different a cool angles. spot as well. It does, isn't it? It's Old Hill Bike Park in Cornwall. Never heard of it. In the UK. Good. It's very cool. Well done, Joshy. Some of these young kids are unbelievably good. Aren't they? Yeah. Makes um, me sick. It does, doesn't it? Whilst, um, whilst we're on the subject of Sens, I'm uh, currently uh, building up a new Sens of the Month platform. Oh, yeah. So if you've got some fantastic Sens, get them in soon. or some great videos of your riding, send them in because there's going to be, don't want to get you too excited, there's going to be some awards coming. <laughs> so send in your Sens to our uploader because that's coming soon, that little uh, game. Cool. Can't wait to play it. Ooh. Hello everyone, we are here in the Forest of Dean in the middle of winter and my top tip for you is, although the sun may be out and it looks toasty warm, it is still pretty fresh, so layer up accordingly. I may have a race jersey on, but underneath I've got a base layer and another layer with that one to keep me nice and toasty through the day. Thank you, Richard. He's a nice bloke, isn't he? Isn't it muddy on the trails at the moment? Isn't it just? I went out this morning, it's horrible. Oh, man, the UK's rainy at the moment. Yeah. It's rainy, but never mind. Yeah. We got some comments to look at from you guys, what you've been saying on the channel this week about all our videos. We were talking um, about the one last time thing, how yes. I like to bend the rules and just, you know, tempt fate. On say. last week's show, yeah. Uh, but Eric Wall's come back with the story. I'll do it one more time. Ended up in an emergency room with two compressed discs. <laughs> Oh, C4 no. and C5, riding onto a metal skateboard rail from three foot practice drop next to my house. Needless to say, the wife, who is an RN, was not happy with that stunt. <laughs> no. Oh man, <laughs> feel for you. Feel for you. One more time, don't do it. Um, what about on our Aussie vlog, where yeah. Blake and uh, Jack Mann behind the camera there went off to uh, Hang out with Australia and having a, it looked like an amazing time oh, you guys had. And it looked hot. Very it looked nice. hot. Um, but yeah, Urs Harley said he really loved the moment where Jack was like, it's a wallaby, and Blake's like, a wannabe what? <laughs> Blake is a master of just getting words just enough wrong for it to be fantastic comedy. Uh, Neddy Walaf says, hey Blake, I recommend come to Tasmania. There's some pretty sick trails yeah, here, like Derby. Blue Derby, Derby. and yeah. new St. Helens trails. We'd yeah. love to go. Uh, we've oh. talked about it so many times. It's almost happened. That time actually almost happened. Mm. I want to go so bad and I've got a bike coming on Sunday, which means I could go there. Yep. Can I go, Neil, please? Uh, come well, on. I want to go first. But, well, let's go. 
Yeah, let's go together. Ooh. Yeah. Right, Mark, what's, what's in the post that you want to show us? Okay, I've got a couple of things in the post this week. Um, I'm going to leave this one to last. Um, this is a book I've been sent. Oh, I like this. A book. It's, it's cycling related, this book, but it's I've got a great little letter look. sent in from, uh, it is from Mr. Miller, uh, Kim Miller. Kim Miller. Oh, it might be a lady. I hadn't thought of that. Could be a guy. Kim is one of those Kim, names. Kim, yeah. Over in Australia, anyway. Kim, sorry, apologies um, if I, I've got your gender wrong. <laughs> um, but it's a great letter saying, a great fan of GMBN, loves riding, but wrote this book a little while ago. Cool. Um, Kim's from New great, South Wales. Had some great reviews. And uh, so it's called, um, what's it called, Neil? They told me I had to write this. They told me I had to write this. It's a great story about an adolescent youth struggling with the uh, worries and problems of young age and how he deals with it thanks to bikes Ooh. or some bikes great idea sounds good so check that one out on amazon i expect have a look right lastly for lesser's post this week remember if you've got any posts you want to send us stickers promoting a book or uh, anything a club i'd like to hear about mountain bike clubs that'd yeah. be good but we have got a letter here um it doesn't say much it's just got our address on the front yeah um and it is great from... handwriting it's from Emma and it says, you're all fired. <laughs> you're all fired, best wishes. You're all fired, best wishes, Emma. Oh. Oh. Is that an official letter, do you think, or? It feels pretty official, it's come in the post. It's fan mail. It makes wow. me wonder what drove her to do that. What did we do? Oh dear. Oh, I like that job too. I was going, well, might as well go to the pub then, are we? Should we? Before we do, before we do, let's just round this show off uh, with a bit of bike fault. Oh. Right, we're into the bike vault, and Ooh. first one here is from Alessandro. Whitey, that looks like Germany. It is Coblands. I was going to say, it looks like Coblands. Yes. I yes. went and rode a trail that finished down by a river that looks a bit like that. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I've been riding there, and them, them banks coming up from that river are steep. I've you know what? There. Actually, I went riding with a guy uh, called Alex who works at Ergon. Yeah. Also based in Coblands, yeah. Uh, Coblands yesterday, and we were yeah. talking about it as well. Oh, and I saw some new grips, they were sick. Yeah. Some oh, amazing What a coincidence. Uh, Coil yeah. shock on the YT Capra Ooh. 29er. Yeah. Very, very cool. What are you giving that, Neil? Oh, I, I think, think super that's super nice, nice, nice isn't it? Nice. Yeah. yeah well done, Alessandro. Hey. Next up, we've got Huntley's 2018 Giant Rain in Fielding. It's a nice colour. Nice. I'll give it a nice. I like Giants. Nice. I like Giants. I like Giants. I always say this. Do you want to give it more? Uh, it's very nice. Uh, no, let's, let's stick it nice. Oh, uh, okay. That's nice. Ooh, what is that? It's an older on it. No, it's not. It's KHS. That is from Matt. It's a KHS in British Columbia, Canada. Uh, the it's K short. The old Fox 40s look massive now. Now, now Neil, that has got 26 inch wheels, am I right? Yeah. Look how short it still looks with 26 inch wheels. It's the old school. It size reminds and shape. me. It reminds me of the sort of bike Josh Bender would have ridden. Mm, yeah, maybe. His bike's KHS. Very, his bike's Who's very that guy tall who rides with KHS who broke his leg at Rampage? That guy. Mm. Logan Bingelli. Logan Bingelli yeah. used to race down on KHS as well. Yeah, good. That's what good, I think uh, of when I see them. Good knowledge there, Jack. Nice. Next up, we've got Josh's Another 2016 Giant, giant Glory. Another downhill bike. Ooh, we don't oh. get that many downhill bikes. No, we don't. Uh, Christchurch Adventure Park, that's what New Zealand got. I think that's super I mean, nice. I'm going for super That's nice. super That looks nice. a fun bike. Fun trial, that's 26. Well. Next up, oh, great picture. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz from Liam. Comedian. Lee, Lee Quarry. Quarry, been there. Oh, it's grim up north. I, I think just because it's in wet UK at the moment, it's just got to be nice. When the weather's bad up there, yeah. it's so exposed. Harsh. The wind's blowing in that shot, I can tell you. Um, nice. Uh, mm. Next up, Sam's Trek Farley. Love a fat bike, me. In its natural habitat. They're studded fat bike tyres. Whoa. Whoa. Are they? Look, Am I imagining yeah, that? Yeah, no, you're no, right. No, they look like they're studded fat bike tyres. Mm. Uh... It looks great fun. Can I give it a super nice? Until you drag your ass in the back tire. Come on, yes. super nice until you do that. Yeah. Let's ring the bell and they can okay. have it until then. Hey. Right, next up, Kai's what giant that? anthem. What is that? Oh, that's cool, because he, oh, I thought he was on like a giant tire, but he's not, he's on some sort of. It's that road sort of machinery. It looks like it makes the road look like it's built of cobbles, but it isn't. I mean, there's a human being in the bike vault. How do you feel about that? It's, well, we can only give it a nice. He certainly can't get a super nice if he's put himself in the bike vault yeah. because uh, essentially that's a health and safety health and safety <sighs> issue because we now can't get him out. Nope. So uh, <laughs> Kai is now in the bike vault forever, and I wish you best of luck. I don't know what food and nutrition is like in there. Um, yeah, could be bad. 
Uh, thank you for sending your bike in. Did yours make it? Was it exciting? Of course it was. Is yours gonna make it? And I'm talking to him now. Send it in and we'll see. Uploaders there for you. Would love to see it and would love to give it a super nice. I really would. Good Absolutely. We can't always. Thank you for watching this week. It's been awesome. I'm going to take this moment to chuck you to a playlist. It's my trials playlist. Ooh. Click just there for it. Like um, it. Neil, want to throw them to anything here? Well, actually, I'll just remind you that the podcast now is audio only. So it's over on Spotify, Deezer, Apple Podcasts. Uh, you find it there. It's great stuff. I did a really fun one with Ollie Wilkins last week where we talked all about uh, funny That's stories brilliant. from Rampage. So check it out. Uh, yeah, audio only from now on. Yeah, good info. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to GMBN and we will see you next week. Give us a thumbs up, like if you can. Yeah.